are new details tonight in the death of the investigation of millionaire sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. According to the Washington Post, autopsy results show Epstein had multiple broken bones in his neck, which can happen in a suicide by hanging, but can also be caused by strangulation. Meantime, more alleged victims are speaking out in the aftermath of Epstein's death. While he may be gone, the demand for justice continues to intensify. A good, I'm sorry, would just would have been good enough, you know, like, because I didn't deserve that. I didn't deserve to, like, just not be a teenage girl anymore. Michelle Licata says she didn't want Epstein to die. She wanted him behind bars for allegedly sexually abusing her when she was around 16 years old. I just wanted him to sit there like I had to sit there after it happened. Licata says a friend recruited her to give the financier a massage at his Florida home when she was in high school and hoping to earn extra money for Christmas presents, she agreed. Now 31, Lakata is calling for Epstein's alleged accomplices to be held accountable. She's not alone. On Wednesday, Epstein accuser Jennifer Arose filed a civil suit against Epstein's estate and his purported ex-girlfriend, Ghislaine Maxwell. Arose is also suing an alleged recruiter, a secretary, and a maid on Epstein's staff. Kimberly Lerner is one of Arose's attorneys. Is there anyone else who should be held accountable? There were various secretaries, there were housekeepers, and there was the recruiter. Um, we haven't been able to identify any of those people by name as of yet. The lawsuit claims Arose was recruited when she was 14. She alleges the abuse began about a month after meeting Epstein when he showed her the massage room in his palatial New York townhouse and told her, it's my favorite room. According to the suit, their visits eventually became routine. A maid would put towels and lotions out, tell Arose to get changed in the bathroom and leave her $300 in cash for each visit. About a year after the alleged abuse started, Arose claims Epstein forcibly raped her and she never returned. How much are you uh, seeking from Epstein's estate? I don't even know what his entire estate is worth, but we're seeking significant damages. Lakata says going through the courts won't make up for the abuse she suffered. A civil lawsuit then would not give me back what I lost. Lakata says there's no way to get peace now that Epstein is dead. She and Arose both say they never met Ghislaine Maxwell or the three other women listed as Jane Doe's on the lawsuit because their identities are not known. That's something Arose's attorney says they hope to learn through their civil case. Maxwell, meanwhile, has never been charged and has denied any wrongdoing.